Ah, ladies and gents, Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's go on into some more roster character predictions. So I have the uh, actual Trunks or Future Trunks arc part two <laughs> in Dragon Ball Super. And so last video I did, we did the Tournament of Power. And so I thought it would be, it would be cool to take those characters and then see how, lo how, how large this roster really can be. Um, they are really, again, emphasizing a historic, historic roster for this series. So, without further ado, let's get on into this. You guys see my little hat waving around or whatever. All right, so let's get on into this. First, we have, like, before, we had about 20 or 29 to 30 characters. Um, some out of some universes. So again, you can go back to the video and check those out. We had, like, Ribrian and Bergamo and... Um, some of the some characters from other universes, some universes got canceled, like Universe Three, Universe, universe Four. So, with all that being said, we have a total of thirty characters right now. I'm just gonna say at launch. At launch, that's already a lot. All right. So, excluding the ones that are obviously gonna be there, Goku, Vegeta. We don't have to count them again because this isn't counting the transformations. It's just counting the raw character. Future Trunks, obvious, obvious. Future Mai. Now, I don't think she'll be at launch, but she'll be later down the line. Um, again, they are emphasizing a big roster, so this means that they know that we're going to get a good bit of the characters we already know, like the main ones. So I'm thinking they're going to be adding more characters that you may have not seen in other games and adding unique moves, unique movesets to them, which I hope they do. Boma. I think, now again, like, because we're already starting off strong. I think Boma and Chi Chi, because I'm going to go ahead, I'm going ahead and say Chi Chi. Boma and Chi Chi could make their appearance in this game. Um, we've been asking for stuff like this for a while. And again, I think that this is the game to really do that with. Um, I think they can make it down the line. Not at launch. Not at launch. They wouldn't give it to the, they wouldn't give it to us at launch. But later on down the line, yeah, I could see them putting Chi Chi and Boma in there, definitely. So, they're later down the line. Beerus at launch. Whis at launch. Uh, Goku Black at launch. They're already showing Jiren and uh, who else? They have, I haven't seen any fusions quite. So, I don't know. Goku Black at launch, though. Zamasu at launch. Because if you're going towards the super arc, you got to, I don't know, this is the arc right before it. Gawasu. Now, I don't think he's going to make the cut. Um, not saying that he doesn't have a moveset that we'd like to use or anything. Not saying that he's not a fan favorite. Not saying he wouldn't be cool to use. Just don't think that putting him out of everybody in this main cast, you know, I don't know. I think I would take him out. He seems the, the least interesting to fight with uh, compared to the main cast. Just compared to the main cast. I'm not saying that he's not interesting to fight with at all. But I don't know. I just wouldn't put Gawasu in this lineup. Shin. Those who don't know Shin. Shin is actually his name. This is Supreme Kai. Um, East Supreme Kai. Yes. At launch. Future Zamasu. At launch. Fuse Zamasu. Later on down the line. Now, I know what you're saying. If you got Goku Black, if you got Zamasu, you got Future Zamasu, why not fuse Zamasu since we're going to be going through the transformations? I don't know. I feel like villains might be a bit different. Especially because Fuse Zamasu is totally different it is a fusion but it's totally different totally different character so i have the same thing with vegito and and um what you call it gogeta i don't think there will be characters that are like you you would level up to or like transform into that that's a that's a separate character so i think he's more, more like a dlc or like later on down the line character vegito same thing not at launch now just because they're great characters then wait hold up wrong i'm thinking super vegeto well if well this is okay so this okay so I, i'm kind of stumbling on myself right here this is super arc so super vegeto no not at launch vegeto at launch regular vegeto super saiyan vegeto super uh blue vegeto not at launch no i don't think that's gonna be a launch this is gonna be later, later down the line infinite zamasu again that's probably gonna be a map i don't think that's gonna be a you know thing 
Future Zeno. A lot of people have a, a question about this, about if we're going to be able to actually play as Future Zeno. If we are able to play as Future Zeno, I don't think it's like... I don't think we're going to be able to play as him. I think he's going to be... He's going to act as some medium in the game where maybe you have to like during the story you might have to find an item and give it to Zeno or something or Zeno is in the story or maybe he's the announcer for the arena for the matches since this is a super and it might be tournament of power you know what I'm saying I don't think Zeno is going to be a playable character I think he's going to be incorporated but like maybe he might be like at the end of a match be like oh that was awesome or something like that like you know stuff like what he says you know in the in the show I think that's how he's going to be incorporated not so it's so like fighting or anything like that because we really haven't seen a fight he might just tap you and you burst out of existence so i don't know now whoever made this is crazy because supporting characters is wild but piccolo obviously confirmed krillin confirmed trunks confirmed gohan confirmed gote confirmed chi chi like i said might be later down the line age of 18 confirmed now she's not going to be in it at all she's not going to cut master roshi I said this last video. I'm going to say it again. He's going to be in it at launch. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you think that it's whatever. We're getting Master Roshi at launch. I'm sorry. We have to. It's, it's been crazy. We haven't gotten him besides DLC and fighters. Emperor Pilaf. No. Don't think he'll be here at launch. Again, I think he might be incorporated in some way. Don't think he'll make the cut either. Just don't think he'll be in the game at all. Shu. Don't think he'll be in the game at all. My. Since we have future Mai's potential, I think Mai could be potential. I think Mai has a great potential to be in the game. Not at launch, but later down the line. I don't know what if I really said later down the line. I don't think it'd be at launch with future Mai either, but definitely Mai would be a great character to incorporate. Uh, we have Earth's Resistance. I'm sure that would be incorporated at some point. I don't think that's a character. Future Yajirobe. Not future Yajirobe? Maybe future Yajirobe, because then they're emphasizing super and stuff. So I don't know, maybe future Yajirobe, but I think Yajirobe should be incorporated in some way. I think he could make the cut. Not at launch, but I think he can make the cut at some point down the line. Uh, Haru, no. Um, no, they're not going to add those guys in there. Okay, minor. We have future scratch. No. Jocko, definitely getting added. Mm, pop. No, at launch. If we're doing, again, if we're doing super at launch. I reckon a lot of the super characters that we may not even think it's going to be at launch is probably going to be there at launch. Tights. Don't even know who that is. That's, oh, manga. Ooh, I didn't read the manga. Tights. If you guys, so if you guys do recognize this character, don't think they're going to adapt manga content, but it'd be cool if they did. You know, I'm sure, obviously. Cell, obviously. Future Bulma. I think that, again, these, these are actually good characterizations because... They're emphasizing DBS Super, so it's like, or Dragon Ball Super, and so it's like, are they going to be f doing characters from Z? I know, well, obviously they're going to be doing characters from Z, but like, if you're going to do characters like this, will they be doing it characters from, from Z, or you'll be doing their finished version, like their future version? I don't know, but I don't know if, if that's the case. If that's not the case, then Bul Future Bulma wouldn't make it, because Bulma, we like Z Bulma better. I'm not saying that Future Bulma isn't good, I'm just saying everybody would prefer Z Bulma. Honestly, or the main timeline bomber hit. Obviously, I don't at launch possibly, but me, he might be later down the line. He's a fan favorite. They might add him as a like a the first DLC like in the Xenoverse. Not saying we should be trying to do DLC characters. Please do not make that a thing. But if it is a DLC character, I would think hit hit would be one of the first. <clears throat> um, when it comes to that list, nobody from there either. We have King Kai. I don't know. I would like to see him in there, but I'm not sure if he would he would be in there. Uh, future Android Eight mm, could, but again, that, that's that's a no. I don't know. No, I don't know. If we're gonna actually say that it's a no, and then King Kai no too. I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't know who Champa. Yes, Champa will make his appearance definitely at launch. Vados as well. I think they will make their appearance at launch along with Beerus and Whis. Okay, so from this arc, because even though I went through all the minor characters too, we have 21 characters plus our 30 from the last video. It's about 20. So I'll just do even numbers. Yeah, 30, 20, because again, this is just like give and take. <clears throat> Has 50 total characters at launch or later down the line. So if I split this down the middle, we have, again, 30 characters at launch and possible 20 down the line. That we're already going to be getting. 
That's that's my prediction. That's like that's how I'm playing this year. So like I'm gonna take a total, and then that's gonna be our split decision between at launch and things. We split it down the middle. The lesser one, or however many is split, the left half is goes that later on the line. The other half is at launch. I, I think thirty is gonna be thirty characters at launch. Not bad. And the characters we already got right now. Now we're not done. We still have more arcs to cover. We will cover those in another video. So if you guys like this video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and get off some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Peace.